Remember the old days where we have gathered together in one office space, working together on tough challenges as a team, sitting together in refinement meetings and retrospectives with different check-in methods to incorporate team collaboration. Myself, I have so many fun moments in mind when thinking about my time in a local development team, like printing out memes, making jokes and the like. I bet you know what I mean, right? Today, I want to show you how you can use AI video generator that can bring back the fun in your remote team. And hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time, this was a completely diff different introduction and the video is also different like usual. Usually I do like software testing related content, sometimes product related content, but also sometimes I do content regarding team setups, team strategies, and also team involvement and collaboration. And that's basically today's video because I would like to show you how you and your team, in case you're working in a hybrid setup, in a remote working setup, to bring back the fun to your team space. And of course, it will be AI related. And I'm really happy to give you an idea of the tool called Vidu AI. And without further ado, let's jump right into the interface or let's give you an introduction on the capabilities of Vidu AI. So here on the screen, you can see the Vidu.com homepage. So it says it's an AI video generator that can bring images to action. And basically you can get a really glimpse on what video is capable of, as you can see on the screen. If we scroll through the, the website, we see the different modes that video has to offer. So reference to video, we will see that in a second. You can also use multi-reference consistency to bring video, your images to life. You can use image to video capabilities, or of course, you can use text to video. Video is a leading AI generation model that enables users to create high quality videos using text prompts, image references, and job subject references. It excels at maintaining consistency in stylistic integrity in different content styles. And just lately, Vidu had a big update on the AI generation, which also is the main focus of today's video. So let's take a look what this is all about. So once you signed up on Vidu, and you can get the links down below in the video description, that is basically the interface that you are going to see. So you have an explore section where you can see already community created uh, AI content. So as you can see here, we can click on the, on the image and uh, you, you can see right away the thumbnail. And the cool thing about Vidu AI is you can also use it as a thumb, thumbnail, basically, or as a template for your video and content creation. Yeah, And we will jump now into the different options that Vidu has to offer. On the left hand side, you can see that we have the new latest Vidu Q1 model available. And we can use this in the reference to video, image to video and text to video. So let's jump into reference to video. And this is basically the interface. Let's skip that for now because I was already creative and I'm going to show you in a second. So this is basically what you see. Most importantly, if you are trying to out video yourself, you have to check here on the top left corner that video, video Q1 is enabled basically, because that is the latest and best option that Vidu has to offer. You can also go to other options for video generation, but trust me, the latest model is the best one I have seen so far. So this is pre-selected. And then as you can see, we have again, reference, image and text to video. And this is basically the interface that you can do. So the big, big and cool thing about the reference to video, capab video capability is that you can upload up to seven reference images that you are going to bring to life, so to say. So you can upload seven images from, let's say from your team, from a team event, from your office space, from, I don't know, fun stuff that you would like to add to your video. video. And if you're doing that, you can of course click that button, you get access to your, your hard, hard drive, and then you can add them. You can also pick references. You can also say, okay, I always would like to create videos uh, about the office background. So you can create, uh, you can upload your image from your office and add it as a reference. Or if you click here, 
you can also go and check the community, what has the community created and use that as a reference for your video creation. So that's basically uh, really cool as well. And then this is basically the prompt interface. So you prompt your, um, your, your, your text, you enter your text and the video that you would like to create. We come to that in a second. I'll briefly show you the interface. Then we have a pro mode. We come to that in a second. And then you have some settings. So you can create videos up to five seconds. The resolution, you can use the, the movement amplitude. It's like auto, like slow movement, medium, large movement, stuff like that. You can define the aspect ratio and as well as the, um, the amount of peak mode is also available. So what you can do here. And I already prepared some prompts for you to speed up the things. And everything that you have just seen in the introduction of that video was created with the reference to video option. Yeah. And also some of them were created with the text to video just to try them out. Yeah. So let's take a look what I have done. So let's assume we would like to um, bring the reference to video option. And this is basically a video that I generated. Yeah. You can see two people sitting around a desk or like standing around a desk and watching latest tech gadgets. And that was basically the prompt that I was entering. So first of all, I was uploading two images. So this is the first one, yeah, one developer, a second developer, and I uploaded some gadgets, like we all know, like, hey, unboxing events. And then you have them over here. And then you can see basically you get like an, a reference, like a, a symbol, a symbolic reference to the images that you uploaded. So image one, two, three, and four and stuff like that. And then you prompt it. So in, and in that case, I prompted two developers, image one, image two, standing around a table that has a new tech device, image three on it. Both are happy looking at the new toy. Both are smiling and the camera is steadily pushing, pushes forwards. And if you hit, create this is the result that you get and to be honest i was pretty much amazed how easy it was to bring my static images of two fake developers to life here's another example yeah i also use that one so it says okay the team is seen in image one yeah so this is the, the team that i created is having a party on a boat provided by the image dancing with their arms in the air and that's the result. So now assume you creating fun, short videos about your last team gathering. Maybe you can also bring your latest Teams and Zoom and Slack video calls to life. Make a screenshot, put it into video and see how the fun evolves in your, in your team. I also made some, some, some drafts with uh, a cat running around the office. So what was the prompt? A developer in image one is sitting in the office, image three, while a cat image two is walking on the desk of the developer. The cat is blinking the eye with a camera gradually zooming in and rotating clockwise. So this is the result. So we, we all know that situation for those of you having cats walking on our keyboards, right? Or here we have a team event. So the team is outside in the wood building a bridge. That was basically the prompt. And just by providing two or three or even up to seven images, you can create a really cool lively scene. Also, you can make some fun, like here, putting yourself in front on, on an ocean, for example, or here, another cat walking around. And also, this one is fine, like um, the one that I created was like a developer is coding in image one while he's so focused and he finally found the solution and it's mind-blowing, image two. The explosion is coming out, from, uh, out of the top from the head of the developer. So we can just preview that one as well. So boom, we have the explosion. So you, you, you get the idea of, of Vidu uh, on how to basically um, bring static images to life. And also here is another option. We come to that in a second, is the text to video. As I mentioned before, once you have prompted your own text, it might be the case the first time you hit video creation that you're not so happy with the, with the result, for example. And there is a pro mode. So you click that one and you get a structured prompts that are more precise for the output. So if you click that, Vidu is using an AI to optimize your prompt. And we have to wait a second. And then we are getting the result on how Vidu is basically restructuring the prompt for you. 
So now we can see it has different um, different um, descriptions of subjects. Like it says here, a developer with short brown hair and neatly trimmed beard, wearing a gray long sleeve shirt and so forth and so forth. So it's really describing the picture in image one. Then we have the scenery. The scene unfolds in a snug home office complete with a bookshelf overflowing with books. So the background is actually explained. And then you also get the idea of the computer screen and the effects that I actually mentioned. And then it gives some styling options like realistic, there is an animation, motion level is large. So it's basically the things that we can um, select down below. And then you get the shot size, eye level and stuff like that. And you can also add more optimization flows over here. And with that, you can play around basically to actually optimize the reference to video, video option for yourself. So video is much more dynamic that brings the text and the static references to images to life by enabling fluid motion, cinematic transitions and visually compelling scenes. It's all generated with remarkable coherence. As I mentioned before, you can upload up to seven reference images when generating a video. It's unlike traditional image to video generation. This features allows you to create a video based on multi image references. And these can be characters, a scene, props and stuff. Guided by the prompt and the AI capabilities, Vidu is then intelligently combines references into a cohesive video and stuff that we have just seen on the screen and also the examples that you have just seen in the scenery. Yeah. So this is basically the reference to video and I highly recommend you to take a look at what Vidu has to offer here. Also, there's another option. It's called image to video video and you can basically upload an image and then one image is bringing uh, is, is, is will be brought to, to action so to say you can also um, add additional a second uh, image where you have a transition from let's say one video to another video or you have the classic text to video option as we just see a scene for example here so i use that prompt like a camera focused on main uh, and a man in leather jacket walking alone through a city street during the day and so forth yeah so really it's really cinematic style of video that you can generate with video uh what else did i do um the the introduction videos that you have seen into that youtube video basically was also generated by text so we have the bunch of developers walking in nerdy shirts we have developers playing with nerf guns in the office and we also have another option with nerf guns and we have people sitting in a meeting room so i was experimenting more with the styling of the video here people were wearing uh, um, sh different types of jerseys this looks more like developers uh, so this was really fun and also i played around with my uh with my yeah um, action figure that i created a couple of uh, weeks ago with ai as well so i i tried to unwrap basically my figure outside of the box my prompt wasn't that perfect for now i was just playing around with it but that was basically the reference that I added here. So I added an image of a hand, so just, just the hand. I added the reference image that I generated. I said, okay, a hand carefully unwraps a 3D rendered action figure. The hand peels away the package and puts the figure on the table. Yeah, I was pretty amazed by, by the results, by just adding this simple prompt. And then of course you can go pro and you get the results over there. I also played around with text to video and stuff like that. So I think you get the idea of Vidu. And to be honest, I really, really want you to create fun, short image uh, videos about your team, maybe about yourself and share it with the community. That would be pretty amazing and pretty cool. Maybe you can do this also underneath that video. I would love to see your contribution and maybe we can make a little bit fun about ourselves in the community. Yeah. If you would like to know more about Vidu, check the video description down below. So we have the links, you get free, cre uh, free credits to start your video creation. And in case you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I would like to thank you the following companies for their support. They support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. 
thank you once again. If you want to learn more about the supporters, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. I hope you enjoyed the video. And with that, I'm saying thank you. Thanks for coming by. As always, share it, like it and subscribe it to support me. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.